Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes teaming up at Bad Blood 2024 is one of the most anticipated moments of the event, whether it headlines the show or not. These two top WWE stars will face the Bloodline Solo Sokoa and Jacob Fatu in a high-stakes tag team match. The match is full of potential surprises, with several key developments already hinted at on SmackDown and the possibility of a few big returns. However, one thing seems clear, Reigns and Rhodes are likely to stand united, with no signs of a heel turn from either. With that in mind, here are four possible endings to this major tag team showdown at Bad Blood 2024. Number 4, Randy Orton and Kevin Owens even the odds to specifically help Cody Rhodes. As highlighted on SmackDown last week, the bloodline consistently exploits the numbers advantage. This is why Randy Orton and Kevin Owens could ultimately step in to support Cody Rhodes at Bad Blood 2024, despite their ongoing friction. Orton and Owens could target Tama Tonga and Tonga Loa without even interacting with the American Nightmare, as they all share a common enemy in the bloodline. Once Roman Reigns proves himself to be a reliable partner, his former rivals may feel more inclined to lend him their support as well. This scenario could be a compelling way to set up the babyface faction for the anticipated Bloodline Civil War at Survivor Series, War Games 2024. If Jimmy Uso doesn't return and Jey Uso remains focused on his solo career, Kevin Owens and Randy Orton would be strong alternatives to join the fight. Number 3, Roman Reigns pins Solo Sokoa clean at WWE Bad Blood 2024. Sometimes, when two megastars join forces in WWE, they dominate despite the odds, and that might be the case with Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes at Bad Blood 2024. This could simply be a feel-good moment for the two babyface icons. If Reigns and Rhodes win without any outside interference, what would be the best outcome? Jacob Fatu is too new in WWE to take a pinfall, so Solo Sokoa would likely be the one to lose. Given that Cody Rhodes has already pinned the new Tribal Chief multiple times, it might be time for Roman Reigns to take the spotlight. Reigns could pin his younger cousin, Solo, to set up a match for the Ula Fala at Crown Jewel 2024. While this outcome may not be the most thrilling, it certainly makes sense within the larger storyline. Number 2. Cody Rhodes is pinned after Kevin Owens betrays him. Rage is a strange emotion. It can drive you to act in ways that are out of character, pushing you to do things you wouldn't normally consider. This could be why Kevin Owens unintentionally helps the Bloodline secure a victory at Bad Blood 2024. We haven't yet heard KO's thoughts on Cody Rhodes teaming up with Roman Reigns, so his actions may speak louder than words. After weeks of simmering tension, Owens could attack Rhodes at a pivotal moment in the match. This would give Solo Sokoa, or ideally, Jacob Fatu, the chance to pin Rhodes for the win. This would further isolate Reigns, forcing him to turn back to the family he has manipulated and mistreated for years. How Jimmy and Jey Uso react to the original tribal chief after this remains uncertain, making it all the more intriguing. Number 1. The Rock returns to help the Bloodline defeat Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes. While it's not the most likely event for his return, The Rock appearing at Bad Blood 2024 would instantly elevate it to one of WWE's biggest shows of the year. The Great One hasn't been seen since the post-WrestleMania 40 episode of Raw, where he vowed to come after Cody Rhodes. That could be his reason for returning, but The Rock likely won't be pleased with Roman Reigns' recent babyface turn. There's a chance he could attack both Reigns and Rhodes at Bad Blood, revealing himself as the true leader of the Bloodline. After Solo Sokoa and Jacob Fatu secure the win in their tag team match, they could present the Ula Fala to The Rock, crowning him as the real tribal chief ahead of Survivor Series, War Games 2024. This would add a shocking twist to the event, leaving Roman Reigns reeling after such a monumental betrayal. What's your take on this? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you are new to the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and click on the bell icon for more interesting content like this in future. Till then see you all in the next one. Thanks!